has at least five reasons why Triceratops would actually kill T-Rex instead of the commonly depicted other way around. First off, herbivores are more overpowered than you can think. Triceratops was bulky, had a lot of muscle, and had one of the largest head-to-body ratios of any land animal. And on top of this head were three big horns. These horns could quite easily, like if it got a clear shot, go right through a T-Rex. And that's not even that's only the horns. The muscles in this thing's neck were probably enough to just bash a T-Rex off to the side. Plus, its tail was stiff and long. So if it needed to sweep a T-Rex off its feet, it could try unbalancing it with its tail. And we didn't even get... We didn't even get to one of its more overpowered things. Its legs. A lot, a lot of people don't really think, Oh, well, herbivores aren't really that overpowered. Oh, look at their heads. Look at their heads. Not their legs. Their legs can't kill, kill a T-Rex. Do you know how strong a horse's kick is? Triceratops could kick that hard. Comparative to its body size? Yeah. So, those are a couple reasons why Triceratops could actually kill a T Rex. Oh, and you might be thinking, well, maybe Triceratops can, but what about other herbivores? What can other herbivores do? One word for you. Ank. Ankylosaurus was even heavier than Triceratops. Plus, it had a completely armored down back. And you, you might be thinking already of what I'm going to say, but, uh, the tail. It's scientifically proven by fossils and by reconstructions by paleontologists that an ankylosaurus's tail could almost definitely break a tyrannosaurus's leg. And without the leg, it's not going to be able to run after it, and the ank can probably run at least five miles an hour, five kilometers an hour, which is faster than a T-Rex with a broken leg can go. Faster than I can go with my knee hurting. And then, you might be thinking, well, yeah, Ceratopsians and Ankylosaurus. What about Hadrosaur? Iguanodon. Iguanodon was a large Hadrosaur from Europe. Now, there are three, there are at least three main ways it could kill a T-Rex. First off, the thumb spike. The, f the famous thumb spike of Iguanodon that was first reconstructed onto its nose. Yes. Paleontologists accidentally put it on its nose when it was first discovered. Anyway, that big spike could easily stab into a T-Rex. And if it got into the right... And next of all, we have the tail. This left triceratops, long, stiff tail. Easily knock a T-Rex off balance. And thirdly, we have the legs, again. But, here's the thing. Hadrosaurs had much more mobile legs than Ceratopsians or Ankylosaurs. So this is the most plausible out of the three, or four, to actually be able to kill the T-Rex. Enough of the last one. Therizinosaurus. You probably see where this is going. I mean... Therizinosaurus had claws, like, super long claws, and, like, it had very powerful arms to back them up, so if it wanted to, it could easily kill a T-Rex, not to mention all of these have sharp beaks, so, yeah, Rexy would actually be dead to Bumpy if this Jurassic World was accurate. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.